box, right? You eat the whole thing. Oh, yeah, two. Ah, right. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So good. Okay, so I'll take next time. Next time. Excuse me, ladies. Hi, Shanaka. Would you mind reading a story for us today? Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's another Story Thursday. Welcome to Storyland SL. I'm Auntie Moki. And I'm Auntie Kavita. And it's time for another story. What's the story we're reading today? It's a beautiful story called Something Else by Catherine Cave and Chris Riddle. We so hope you like this story because it's one of our favorites and we can't wait to read it for you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, over to you, Aunt Moki. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Something Else by Catherine Cave and Chris Riddle. On a windy hill alone with nothing to be friends with lived something else. He knew that was what he was because everyone said so. If he tried to sit with them or walk with them or join in their games, they always said, Sorry, you're not like us. <laughs> you're something else. <laughs> you don't belong. <laughs> Something else did his best to be like the others. He smiled and said, Hi, like they did. He painted pictures. He played their games when they let him. He brought his lunch in a paper bag like theirs. It was no good. He didn't look like them or talk like them. He didn't see the things they saw. He didn't play the way they played. And as for his packed lunches... <sighs> <laughs> you don't belong here, they said. <laughs> You're not like us. You're something else. Something else went home. While he was getting ready for bed, there was a knock on the door. Something was standing on the doorstep. Hi there, he said. Great to meet you. Can I come in? Excuse me, said something else. You're welcome, said the creature. It's be a flipper? Something else looked at the paw. Uh, I think you've come to the wrong place, he said. The creature shook his head. <gasps> no, I haven't! This place is perfect! <laughs> Look! And before something else realized what was happening, it walked right in. On his supper. Do I know you? Asked something else, puzzled. Know me? <laughs> the creature laughed. Of course you do. Take a good look. Look, 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 look. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Something else looked. He walked round the creature from front to back or back. Front. He didn't know what to say. He didn't say anything. Don't you see? The creature cried. Yeah. I'm just like you. You're something else and I'm one too. It stuck out its paw again and smiled. else was too surprised to smile back. He didn't take the paw either. Like me? He said. 
You are not like me. In fact, you are not like anything I've ever seen. I'm sorry, but you are definitely not my sort of something else. He walked to the door and opened it. Good night. The creature put down its paw. Slowly. Oh, it said. It looked sadder and smaller. It reminded something else of something, but he couldn't think what. While he was trying to remember, the creature left. Then, something else remembered. Wait! He cried, don't go, don't go! He ran after the creature as fast as he could. When he caught up, he grabbed its paw and held on tight. You're not like me. But I don't mind. Oh, you can stay with me if you'd like to. And the creature did. Oh. <laughs> From then on, something else had something to be friends with. They smiled and said hi, hi, hi to each other. They painted pictures. They played each other's games or tried to. They ate their lunches side by side. They were different, but they got along. And when something turned up that really was weird looking, they didn't say he wasn't like them and he didn't belong there. They moved right up and made room for him too. Questions about the story. Level 1. Easy. Have you ever seen a creature like something else before? Name three things that make something else different from all the creatures you've seen before. Why do you think the other animals didn't like to hang out with something else? The other animals teased something else. Do you think that was a nice thing to do? Do you know anyone who is different? How do you feel around that person? Have you ever spoken to that person? Do you have anything in common with that person? Have you ever been teased for being different? If yes, how did you feel when this happened? Have you ever teased someone? Looking back, what would you change about that moment? Thinking about the story. Level 2, Medium. Why do you think the main character is given the name Something Else? How do you think Something Else felt at each stage of the story? A. Trying to join in on the games. B. Trying to be like the others. C. Meeting the creature for the first time. D. Having something to be friends with. Something else tried to fit in at lunchtime by bringing his lunch in a paper bag. But the others weren't impressed. Can you think of why this might have been? What are the key ingredients needed for a friendship? If you could write a recipe for friendship, what would it be? Could you use a black paper to write your recipe for friendship? Reflecting on the story. Level 3. Difficult. Have you ever felt like something else did in this scene? Write a few sentences about the experience. What did you learn from it? This part of the story didn't go as well as we'd have liked it to. Could you reimagine this scene with a 
positive outcome, write a one-page script to include the two characters. The differences between something else and the others in his class made something else feel like he didn't belong. What do you feel about being different to others? Are we actually different? Can you think of ways in which human beings are alike? Are there any benefits of being different? And that's the story of Something Else by Catherine Cave and Chris Riddle. We hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe. And just in case you haven't visited our Facebook page yet, make sure you visit. And also remember to follow us on Instagram. That's it for this Story Thursday. Remember to join us next week. I'm Auntie Moki. And I'm Auntie Kavita. Bye. Bye.